Good evening. Once again, we are here at Gold Lane Antique Gallery on a spring evening, and we are going to have an incredible show for you tonight. We're going to answer questions that you members of the group have submitted. I added a few to it, reworded a few, but I'm very, very pleased with a lot of the subject matter that we have. Uh, we've already checked in with our guides and we've all been talking to Jesus a little bit. He will be answering some of them. Augustine will be helping out. And he said that they have more, more of the spirit guides available as well. And they will answer all of our questions. So Ms. Connie, you want to say hello to everybody and we'll, we'll get started. Good evening. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing the answers to some of your questions. Yes, we have some very interesting ones. So I see that uh, quite a few of you are already checking in. So more will be along in a second and they can catch up tomorrow. I will post it all over on YouTube so that you can catch up there as well. So why don't we get started and we'll let Connie ask the first question. Was Lucifer cast out of heaven? No, Lucifer was never cast out of heaven. Lucer, Lucifer is the personification of evil energy on earth. Lucifer never really existed in heaven. Mm -hmm. There is no evil in heaven. How would we cast him out? So, no, that is uh, not a true story. Okay. How did this story originate? Well... When I walked the earth, I certainly never spoke of Lucifer being thrown out of heaven. It was added at a later time by mm -hmm. members of the church. In what month did the crucifixion take place? In your terms, my death took place in the month of November. Oh, it's a little different. Is there really a mother nature? There is absolutely an energy. The, the earth absolutely has an energy. I refer to it as mother nature. The, the energy of the earth has a definite personality and that energy will do things to protect itself. Okay. Critical is current pollution to the future of the Earth. At the current rate, pollution will jeopardize the evolution of you humans. However, Earth or Mother Nature is fairly forgiving. So it is not an immediate problem, but it is certainly something that you will have to address in the future. It is not something that will end life within the next several generations. Okay. How did the Vatican come to be in Rome with all of the Roman opposition to Christianity? In the beginning, Rome was very negative about Christianity and obviously martyred and killed many of those that chose to follow me in the beginning. But as time went on and my words were spread by my disciples and their followers, there came to be a time that Rome feared the growth of Christianity and attempted to work with the church so that their powers would be solidified. After Constantine was the first Christian emperor and he basically began the seeds of the center of the church being at the then capital of the Roman Empire. As time passed, it was only natural 
that the church actually became an arm of Rome and therefore it became what you know as the Roman Catholic Church. So it was only natural that the capital of the church would also be the capital of the Roman Empire. Are there any effective techniques, like spiritual or otherwise, that the guides can share to help protect our homes and prevent negative entities from entering or bothering anyone in our home? The strongest protection that any of you can have are prayers that are directed directly to me. I have given Barry several prayers of protection in previous sessions and those prayers can be utilized to protect your home and to protect your loved ones you can also pray to my mother or any of the holy saints that are close to me and they and they will help protect you and your home Always remember that, that your love for me in your hearts will defeat any evil entities. Okay. Is there anything special about RHO negative blood? No. That is just simply one of the blood types that you humans possess. There is nothing really special about it. Okay. When we die, are we judged harshly for the wrongdoings in our lives? No. I love each and every one of you. And if you have that love for me in your heart, when you come home, you will not be judged harshly. If you have that love, I will forgive you of your wrongdoings. Of course, if you have performed unforgivable sins, such as the taking of an innocent life, then you will be judged differently from those that have only performed forgivable sins. In the event that you have led a truly evil life, you will need to spend time in my lower realm so that you can truly know in your heart that you've done wrong. Even though you will be in that lower level, I will still love you. And there will be a time that you will be forgiven when your heart becomes pure once more. And you will be able to return and come back and pay for the mm -hmm. karma that you have done in that prior lifetime. What are the most unforgivable sins? The most unforgivable sin is the taking of an innocent life that, as you know, upsets me greatly. The fact that abortions are being performed at the rate they are in your country is unforgivable. It is up to each and every one of you to attempt to stop this killing of the innocents. Those that are performing those acts will be judged harshly. How big is heaven? Our heaven is the size of the galaxy. Heaven is only limited by the gigantic area that is under my custody and care. There are literally billions of stars in the heaven that the soul energy can access. How were the pyramids built? The pyramids were built with the help of individuals from other planets. They brought technologies 
that enabled the ancient Egyptians to move and cut the huge stones that were required for the structures. What was their intended use? The pyramids were constructed by the pharaohs for tombs. However, the visitors from other planets used them for navigational purposes in those days. When they were, when they were built, there were actually crystals placed on top of the structures that could be used, that this, whose signals could be used for navigational purposes. What role have extraterrestrials played in the evolution of humans? Throughout your evolution, intelligent extraterrestrials have attempted to guide and interact and teach humans what they needed to know to evolve. Much of what you know today can be attributed to the intervention of intelligent beings from other planets in my galaxy. Is there such a thing as sacred geometry? There is a configuration of lines, such as ley lines around the earth, that emit energies and assist Mother Nature in some of her activities. There is no such thing as sacred geometry as such. Hmm. What is your opinion of the study of astrology? There is nothing wrong with the study of astrology. While quite often the information that is gained through the study is not overly accurate, there is really no harm in the study of my planets and stars. This is an interesting one. What is the difference between animal and human souls? Human souls are more advanced than the souls of animals. However, do not underestimate the intelligence or abilities that I have given to the souls of various animals. Animals advance as well as humans advance. As animals return, they also, they also learn about life and as they learn, they can advance in the animal kingdom. For instance, I know you are thinking about your pet cats. You have two very advanced souls that have returned to you. And as you know, I sent them back so that they would bring you comfort and help you to focus upon your mission. Thank you for that, Lord. They do, they're amazing. Um, if you could change or take out completely one story or passage in the Bible, what would it be? If I could take out one passage or gospel in its entirety, it would be Revelations. Revelations has done more to bring fear to you humans. I never spoke of such of such substance as you read in Revelations. Satan actually intervened in the writing of Revelations and 
the church used it to bring fear to the people. I never spoke of an end of days, and I never spoke of having you join me upon my second coming. That would be foolish for those of you that know the true story of reincarnation. I have been telling you the truth of what I spoke and the truth of my life. Do not waste your time reading the book of Revelations. It will do you no good as it bears no truth to the reality of my heaven. Man has controlled what was put into the Bible, truths, untruths, misdirections. What do you want us to get out of the Bible? I want you to think of the Bible as a general guide in how to live your lives. Up until now, you have really had no way of knowing the total truths of my words and my teachings. The Bible has complicated many of my teachings and in certain instances made them in total contrast to what I spoke, to the words that I spoke. What you need to know is that portions are much more accurate, some portions are much more accurate than others. The book of Matthew has probably more accuracies in it than any of the other books. I will tell you the truth of my words and what you need to know. You will hear them here from Barry and Connie. Use the Bible as a, gu as a, as a guide. Use your common sense and apply the words that you hear, and you will get much more out of your understanding of the Gospels that have been selected in what you call the Bible. Okay. Are you concerned about the Muslim theology and their ideology trying to take over the world? Many in the Muslim religion are gentle people, and bear no animosity towards other religions. However, there is a more radical portion of their ideology that resents any other religion than theirs. That ideology is very dangerous to the evolution of man and needs to be overcome. Are the Gnostic Gospels accurate with what you said? Some, some have some accuracies, but in general, the Gnostic Gospels do not closely correspond to my teachings. If you combine some of the words of the Gnostic Gospels along with what is written in the other Gospels, you would come up with what is relatively close to the words that I spoke. Okay. Do police, soldiers, firemen, or any of the first responders have a special place in heaven? They are honored for their service to others. They they have dedicated their lives to serving and helping others. In most instances, they show the compassion of which I spoke. Without the group of first responders, your evolution would be very difficult because they help 
bring service and protection to the weak and the needy. I judge them very leniently for what they have done. I know that I know that soldiers in particular fear my judgment for them having to have taken others the lives of others. What is important is that they did it to protect the weak and those that could not protect themselves. Without the soldiers, evil would have taken over your world. So there they are indeed judged more leniently than others. How does the average person know when a psychic medium is the real deal? That can be very difficult. There are many out there that pretend to have psychic abilities in order to further their self-importance or in certain instances, just simply through the greed to make money. Listen to what the person says. If it seems real and if it tells you information that you can associate with, the individual has probably a psychic gift. Just beware of the false psychics. You now know enough of my words to know when people who claim to be able to communicate with me have written words of my so-called teachings. Compare what they write with what you with what you hear from Barry and Connie. If it, if it is similar to what you hear from them, then you can assume that the person has a real psychic energy. Where are these people who have disappeared forever in the national parks? Many of the people that have disappeared have been kidnapped and have been taken by very evil people. Many have been forced into a type of slavery. Some that have disappeared in the national parks have just simply gone into very remote areas and have had accidents and have passed from those accidents. Is our government manipulating the weather? Your government has been capable of manipulating the weather since what you refer to as the, your second world war. Other governments are also capable of manipulating the weather. Is there currently a plan to undermine the United States? Since your inception, there have been plans to undermine your country. At the present time, there are, there are countries that are doing their best to defeat the United States. And hopefully those countries would like to take over the position of leader among countries on your, on your earth. There are also those in your government that are trying to undermine your, your governmental structure so that they can gain more 
power and control over the re over your residence. You must resist what they refer to as socialism. That is not what I instructed your founding fathers to incorporate into your constitution. What is meant by ascension? And is it real? It is written that my mother and some of the saints ascended into heaven. That is not what happened. Upon their passing, their souls simply crossed the veil into heaven. Their bodies did not ascend and nothing out of the normal process of dying takes place. The concept of ascension was developed so that people would regard the death of my holy assistants with more awe and believe that the total miracle of my heaven incorporated the, pay, the taking of their bodies. That was added and was not part of my teaching and it was not part of what actually took place. Okay. Will there ever be a time the United States will suffer plagues like ancient Egypt? There will be times that there will be natural disasters in the country that will result in events taking place similar to the plagues that took place in England prior to Moses leading the Israelites from their country. For instance, there will be times of volcanic eruption that will force areas of the country to have problems raising crops, but you are probably advanced enough to the point that you will be able to take countermeasures that your people will not suffer the plagues like ancient Egypt. What happened to the Ark of the Covenant? The Ark of the Covenant was destroyed when, when the city of Jerusalem was destroyed. Are all people truly gifted with psychic medium abilities chosen by you? I play a large role in giving people gifts that they can use to communicate with my realms. It is also possible that the evolution of their soul has taken place and as they advance they can come up with these with what you refer to as psychic or medium abilities they should the true the individuals that truly have that ability have been given the gift by god How long will the current Pope remain in power? It will not be long until the current Pope will step down. What has taken place in the, in the service of the Catholic Church will weigh heavily upon him. I would not expect his reign to last more than a couple of years. When in heaven, is it possible to go back in time? Yes, 
it is possible for the soul in heaven to look back in time. It is a very difficult concept for you to even think about. But the soul has the ability because it bases its life plan on what has happened in the past. And it also has the ability to look into the future and make future events part of a pending life plan for when the human returns. Is there such a thing as a parallel universe? No, there is no parallel universe. There are multiple dimensions in this universe. When your soul passes from your body, you will come into the dimension of heaven. But it could not be, it should not be considered a parallel universe. When we create our life plans, do we choose to be victims of crime or abuse caused by evil? Keep in mind that there is no evil in heaven. Life plans are generally altered by crime or abuse or, or enormous evil. For instance, when the soul of Hitler was sent back, we had no idea that it would, that his ego would take over and such evil acts would take place. Therefore, the people that were affected by the evil of Hitler had their life plans altered by his evil. When you create a life plan, can you see into the future? It is possible to see into the future and incorporate those events, those events into a human life plan. Okay, Lord, how did you create humanity? I created humanity I attempted several times to create humanity on your earth. Humans are a unique form and they evolved from a much more primitive type of human. I felt that it was necessary that humans learn and control their free will if they are to advance. Therefore, I put a primitive life form on your planet and cause them to evolve on their own. Hmm. Are all young planets considered experiments like, like a test of effects of ego and free will? Yes. When I, when I create a life form on a planet, I create it as a more primitive form and force them to make choices that will affect their evolution. There are many young planets in my galaxy. On all of those planets, the individuals must learn to love one another and to get along, or they will annihilate each other. Many, many planets have seen the annihilation of the life forms that I placed upon them. Should humans decide that they cannot learn to love each other, I will allow them to pass into extinction. Has the true story of your life ever been written before? No. I have given some information to others and they have attempted to put the story out to others and to speak the words that I placed into their heads. For instance, 
I told Moses the words to speak to his people. So there are times that I have told the true, the, the true story of my life, but I have never taken the time taken the effort to place the true story of my life and teachings to humans in as much detail as you are currently passing on in your books and in your shows. Okay, I don't know how I'm pronouncing this correctly, but what is your opinion of the Rancia book? The book is not my words. There are actually things in the book that, that do resemble some of my teachings, but it was given by spirits that were not always under my total control. What do you feel when you hear our prayers of love? When I hear the prayers of people that truly have my love in their hearts, I feel great joy. It is, it is an emotional feeling for me to know that individuals are using their free will in a way that will allow them to advance in my realms. I, I feel emotion and it is a feeling of joy when I hear many that are converted and hold that true love for me in their hearts. Is there any reason to kneel when you pray? No. You can pray at any time of the day. It is simply the words that enter your mind that you want me to hear that are important. You can pray with your eyes open or shut. You can stand, you can kneel or you can lay in bed as you pray to me. The position of your body is irrelevant. It is the words of your prayers and the love for me that you have in your heart that counts. Is prayer more powerful if many people pray for the same thing at the same time? It can be more powerful. What is important is that there are many people that are sharing the prayer and are sharing that love. It can also be important for a single person to pray to me. It often depends on the nature of the prayer. For instance, many people are praying for the future of your country. I hear all of those prayers and I know that they are heartfelt from many. In that instance, I am more inclined to honor such a prayer because I know that your country is also a shining beacon for the world and my help will at times be very important for its evolution. Lord, what do you feel when you see the evil in today's world? It makes me very sad, but evil has been around forever. Without the challenge of evil, good cannot win out. Good has to win in order for the human soul to advance in my heaven. Without evil, there would be no challenge for the soul. So you see, evil does serve a purpose. 
even though its growth makes me very sad. <coughs> what do you think of the occupation of the Gaza Strip and Jerusalem as the capital of Israel? The occupation of the Gaza Strip is very sad for the Palestinian people. However, without Israel occupying that land, their future would certainly be in question. The Jewish people are the descendants of the Israelites that I had Moses lead to the area of Judea. Sadly, there is so much hatred in the area that their existence could be in question. It is my hope that the humans in that area will think more of my love than they will of their hatred for each other. Hatred is truly a sin. Those that show such hatred will find that my judgment will be more harsh for them. Is there any hope for peace in the Middle East? It will be very difficult. There are so many generations of hatred there that it seems to be an almost insurmountable task. I hope that both sides would pray to me for guidance and I will attempt to show them a way to peace. But there have been so many generations of hatred, it will indeed be a very difficult task. Is it possible to have a future prediction so that all will know that we speak your words? I, I hesitate to use future predictions as a means of proving that you and Connie speak my words. The reason being that if I give you a prediction of what will happen in the future, it is possible that individuals would use that prediction to change or alter their life plan. So I will, in the very near future, prove to you that I am truly here and that you are truly speaking my words. I do not wish to give that proof through future, through a prediction of future events that could cause life plans to be altered. Can you give us the name of a person in our group that needs to contact us to be healed by your energies? I, I would suggest that Mary gets in touch with Barry and has him pray for her. It, it is not only for her, but for a member of her family. 
Barry will know when the time comes what to say. I will tell him. Okay. We were told in the past that there would be a time of grief for the people of our country. Can you clarify what that event will be? Once again, if I tell you what that event is, that would be a future prediction that can all her life plans. I will tell you that there will be a natural occurrence that will occur that will affect many individuals. Lord, why have you chosen this particular time to bring forth the truth of your teachings? This is a very critical time in the development of humans. You are learning technological advances much more rapidly than you have ever learned them in the past. If evil learns to utilize all of your technical advances, it may be too late to stop it. This is a very important time in your human evolution. I've chosen this time to bring you the truth of my words. If, if humans listen to my words, they will have no problem with their technological advances and the increased power of your weapons. The message of love is the only thing that will assure the future evolution of man. Lord, are you ever planning to appear again in the physical form like you did to your disciples? It is a possibility. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what is the most important fact that you would like us to know about your life? The most important fact that I would like people to know my, about my life is, is that I lived a normal existence until I was 28 years old. I traveled. I saw all the sadness of humans. I married. I loved. I raised children. And in that short lifetime, I participated in all of the human experiences. I thought it was very important that I know that I knew what it was like to live the life of a human before I began to speak my words. Okay, I think that probably answers the next question, question, which is, why did you wait until you were 28 to begin the ministry? I needed that much time yeah. to live and enjoy or to or to experience the human gamut of emotions okay. at what age did you perform your first miracle i performed I, I performed my first miracle at the age of 27 it was performed upon my wife. Okay. What is your opinion of the celebration of Lent? The celebration of Lent is the invention once again of the, of the Catholic Church. There is, there is no harm in celebrating 
what an individual feels as their love of God. As I say, there is no harm in it, but an individual can show their true love for me without the formalization of the celebration of Lent. Okay. Somebody would like to know if you consider humans a failing experiment. No. I absolutely do not consider humans a failing experiment. You are still a young culture and you have to learn to handle your egos and your emotions. All you need to do is follow my teachings. It is actually a very simple command for you to, shall we say, pass the experiment of human evolution. Okay, every now and then we get into discussions with people who insist that every word in the Bible came straight from you. And of course, we're doing evil by communicating with your side. What should be our answer to these people? There are many that there is no answer for. Their minds are made up and they, they are doing what they feel is correct and what the church has instructed them to do. It is far better for you not to waste your time trying to convert those individuals. After all, they do believe in me and they do have that love for me in their heart. What, what we have to understand is that there are many ways to follow my teachings. What I am trying to do is to bring you the simplicity of my teachings so that you can bring others to love me in their hearts. Even though those individuals are not correct in their following of every word of the gospel, they still love me deeply in their heart. And that is truly what is important. So you are better off not attempting to convert those people what you are better off doing is trying to reach those that have uncertainties, that do not believe in me, and that do not understand that God truly exists. Do you have a final message for us? Yes. I want to bless each and every one of you that listen to this message. I want you to study the information that is available to you. Once you totally understand my teachings and what it means to love me, it will be much easier for you to go forward and attempt to bring my message to others. You are a special group of people. I have brought you together for a purpose. That purpose is to spread my words, to teach my true meanings, and to convert others to having a love for me in their hearts. It is not an easy assignment. When I walked the earth, there were times that I was very frustrated and that 
individuals would swear at me, would call me crazy, and would do things. There will be a time that it will be very obvious that you are hearing my messages and my words. That time is rapidly approaching. With those words, I want you to know that I love and I'm with each and every one of you. I bless you all tonight. Have me in your hearts, have me in your minds, and have me in your prayers. With those words, I will say good night and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And with those <laughs> messages, uh, I really have nothing more to say. So thank you all for listening. If you like what you hear, uh, I will be posting this on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's very, very important. Good night. How can we do that once it's turned down?